Hey guys, what's going on? So welcome back to day eight of my little series of going from zero to 100 million gold on a brand new character. So if you guys haven't actually seen the rest of the series, I recommend you go back and watch it just so you're sort of up to date on what we're doing and where we're at, okay? But I will do a little recap for just the end of last episode for anyone who just sort of forgot. So I'm just gonna go over the traders here and just show you everything we had for sale last time. So obviously we had some learn crux, a couple of motifs. I've had some platinum, some just materials like hemming up. We did have a couple more motifs like Old Ornisium and we had some of our Legion Zero stuff up there. We also had a couple of bits of Briarheart. Now, obviously Briarheart's been dropping in this event and it was quite cheap. So I just bought some to sort of leave on the trader and hope it sells. We do have a purple companion glove there. So we're hoping that that's sold um, by the time we look here today. A couple of Legion Zero motifs in Map Masters there. So hopefully they've sold. We have quite a lot of platinum. Now we got all of this for about 5k a stack and we're selling it for eight. So it's about two and a half K profit per stack. Not too bad. We also have a purple mother sorrow ring and a gold mother sorrow ring. Now we're hoping those sell because that's about 170K for us. And in rain of darkness, we also have another purple mother sorrow ring and some more motifs like Legion Zero and stuff. Okay. So we have quite a lot of stuff there. Hopefully it's going to sell and we're going to be able to be on quite a, a large chunk of money today whenever we jump into it. And also just last episode, we were level 212 for anyone who was keeping track of the levels. Okay, so looking in the meal today, quite a lot of stuff is actually sold. We've sold 20 items. Now, not everything's going to be worth too much. Um, I actually think I've been removed from a guild. I think it disbanded. It's called like Sublime Army. I'm not sure what happened, but yeah, then we've got some of our items back from there, unfortunately. But yeah, quite a lot of stuff has actually sold. So we've sold our Purple Mother Star Ring, sold a lot of the Platinum stuff that was there. We sold a lot of our motifs. Obviously, the main thing that sold today was the Golden Ring of Mother Sorrow. Now we sold it for 150k and that's quite a lot of money we've got back there um we've also been selling some other motifs you know things like that some legion zero stuff some hemming um old arnisiums have been flying off the shelves a little bit as well so we've got quite a lot of stuff sold there and we're looking to make quite a lot of profit so you can see another legion zero chest there for 30k has sold already and it's still part of the event so it really shouldn't have sold for 30k but we've made money anyway so that's us on 361k today guys okay Okay guys, so we have 361k to go and invest. So what we're going to do is we're quickly going to do a trader run before we do anything today, okay? So we're going to run around to Sham particularly and we're kind of aware it's coming to the end of the campaign. So we want to be looking for some Maelstrom motifs and uh, just trying to flip those because it's still part of the campaign. But also we might want to invest in some long term. We're not too sure. So you can see here I was actually shopping into Shan and I found a Maelstrom staff motif for only 125k. Like the next cheapest one actually was the one below it for 225 so that's about 100k profit there minus the tax so it's a really really good flip for us so we're going to buy that and i think we're just going to sell it on for uh 225 as well just to try and make a better quick profit because we are still kind of low at the moment we don't want to be waiting sort of weeks to sell this item we can't really afford to have 125k tied up so we're just going to go for the quick flip on this one but yeah that was our big item when we went trading really um everything else i'll show you in a wee second near the end of the video okay so obviously we're doing our little daily here. So we were running the rounds to get our legend leveled up. So again, we were just stealing apples in the usual spot in Kraglorn. Um, if you guys actually wanted to see where the spot was and how I was leveling my legend, I actually made a video on it on my channel. You can go check that out. But yeah, we're doing this again as we do every day. So I'm not bored with it and I'll just cut. So yeah, we're now level 12 in the legend skill. So we will hopefully be able to actually go and force some locks pretty soon. So we need to get level 19. We're level 12 already. So Hopefully not too long from now, we'll be able to just like not have to manually pick locks anymore. Okay, so after we finished leveling up our Legardamine skill line, we went over to the Maelstrom Arena again. Now we're still doing it on normal because we're not quite strong enough to do it on vet yet. And we don't have that great of gear and we don't have all the skills we need. But we're still getting through it and we're still getting our year one coffers. And that's sort of one of the main reasons we're here. Now in the year one coffers today, we actually did get a little bit lucky. So actually managed to get a Maelstrom Greatsword in one. Now, that is sort of worth around about 100k, but we might sell it for a little bit less today just to try and get a quick sale on it as it is part of the event and we probably want to get some more. And we also managed to get a Maelstrom Mall, so both of those are going to sell for about 80k, you know. Um, we're trying to sell them a little bit fast during the event. We could probably hold them and sell them after the event for a little bit more, but again, we're kind of a little bit low on money right now, so we kind of just want to keep things moving. We don't want to be holding things for too long. So after we did a couple of runs in Maelstrom, what we did was we went down and we deconstructed all the gear we got. So any gear I've been getting from Overland or just from Maelstrom that isn't in the Ornia trait, I've just been deconstructing for the XP. So 
we're trying to kind of passively level up our crafting skill lines here we're not really focused on them too much so reason for that is we don't have enough skill points yet to actually use the crafting skill lines unfortunately even if we wanted to uh, i might have to go and do either a lot of dungeons or the main story quest at some point and i really want to avoid the main story quest at all costs so we're kind of putting it off for now and trying to make a little bit of money other ways <laughs> So yeah, we're just passively leveling that up as opposed to doing it the really fast way where I just get someone to craft gear for me and I decon it and I uh, paid him for the materials. So after we did Maelstrom and deconstructed all our gear, we actually went and did another trader run. Now, you can do multiple trader runs in a day. I usually do just one in the morning or one at the start of my stream and I stop there. But uh, I thought today, you know, being the event and it's coming to an end reasonably soon. So we just had a little look around and we just had a little look to see if anything was up cheap. So I'm just going to show you what we got in our first run of traders and then I'll show you what we got in the second run of traders and then we'll list it all and I'll show you guys where we're going to leave off in the episode, okay? So quite a lot of good stuff the first time around, okay? So we spent 220k, okay? So we got a Triune Ring for around about 10k. We got a Companion Shield for about 5k. We got a Trinomach Chest for under 10k. We got, you know, Malakov Chest again for under 10k. We're going to flip these up for hopefully quite a lot of money, maybe 50k. Got some Legion Zero stuff again, so still part of the event. We're just buying any of that stuff we can find really under 5k right now. Uh, we got a Maelstrom Malmuti for about 50k. We're going to flip that probably to 80 quite easily. We got another Mother Shower Ring for 10k. And then we just have a couple of bits of Silk. We think we found them for 3k a stack, which is insane really. Okay, so on our second run, some of the stuff actually sold from the first run. So our Cold Harbor Glow Stock sold. And then we're just going to go through what we purchase otherwise. So we got some Anaquina helmets, some Anaquina legs, um, quite a lot of Anaquina stuff. A couple of bits of Mother Sorrow. We found an actual stack of green solvent for quite a low amount of money. I think it was like 20k or something we got that for. It was a really low amount and we're going to sell it for 15k for 50. So quite a big profit there. We managed to sell our companion shield already for 40k. We literally bought that for I think it was 4 or 5k I said or maybe 6. But it was a really low amount. Okay, we had to log out and log back in just to proc some more of the mail to come through to the inventory. But yeah, some of our ancestor silk had actually sold. Um, so we sold quite a lot of it. And we actually sold the mills from mall almost instantly. Whenever we put it up for 80k. So we probably could have got a little bit more money for that. But, uh, you know, we were just going for the quick sales. So at the end of the day, we're again, we are level 238 now, which is quite good. So the closer we are to 300 CP, the better. Because then we can do DLC dungeons and make quite a lot of money there. Um, at the minute i can do them if i get three friends together but it's not all the time that three friends are free to go do this stuff with me so you know we uh we're just hopefully gonna get the 300 cp so we can just uh queue for stuff but yeah we also have 255k there so that's quite a lot of money we're only about 110k down from where we started off this episode plus we have so much stuff to sell i'm just gonna go over the traders quickly so we've got the green solvent there for 14k you know that's only 50 quite a lot of legion zero stuff Quite a lot of old Arnesium stuff there. We've got our Maelstrom staff up for 218k. Now that's going to give us about an 80k profit if that sells as well. Um, we then have this other bit of junk. So our Trion Ring, our Mother Sara Ring, just some motifs and things like that. Um, Companions Gauntlets, Fireheart Daggers, these kinds of things. So quite a lot of money there, probably a couple of hundred k at least. Um, and the other trader, yeah, yet again, more Maelstrom stuff there. So you can see a Maelstrom Greatsword, uh, more of the Green Solvent, more Legion Zero stuff. So again, probably another couple of hundred K there. Um, and this trader still got all our platinum selling. Didn't really add too much new from the start of the episode. It's still mostly just platinum and other things like that. And at the bottom, we still have a Mother Sorrow ring trying to sell, but it hasn't went quite yet because, you know, the gold ones are available. And then the last trader we have just some more Anaquina stuff and, and a Legion Zero girdle, okay? So yeah, overall, whenever all of this stuff sells, we should have at least 500 K, I think. I think we're going to be at least over 500 K at the start of the next episode. Um, given that everything sells sort of within the next day or two whenever i log back on we're hoping for that and then we'll go invest that and uh once we're past the 500k mark we can really start investing so i think realistically um in the next coming episodes we're going to have to start investing long term or at least investing in more expensive flips so at the moment obviously it's really nice for us to be able to flip a legion zero chest and make 30k profit but there are some things we can buy out there for a couple of 100k and flip for you know 100 200k profit so Hopefully we can get into that kind of stuff reasonably soon and hopefully we can actually find some deals like that on the market. But anyway guys, that's pretty much where we're leaving off today, okay? So just a little recap, 255k in coins, we're level 238 and we have probably about 600k worth of stuff plus on the traders to sell right now, okay? So we're looking quite well, we're looking to probably hit our 1 mil point 
maybe around episode 10 or 11, okay? So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and jump on over to my Twitch channel, and you can watch me streaming the series live. So yeah, I'll see you later, guys, here. Right?